Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over how to hopefully resolve some backup issues you might have while trying to create a backup on Windows. A lot of these issues might stem from playing around in the MS Config startup um, settings menu, but I'm going to just go over a few different areas that we can look into on how to hopefully resolve any backup issues you might be experiencing. So we are going to just start by heading over to the start menu and we are going to type in services. On Windows 10 it should be listed as a desktop app so you want to left click on that so now there's going to be a few services we're going to be looking for here the first one should say block level backup engine service and we can see it right here should be one of the first ones so you want to right click on it and then left click on properties on the menu that drops down. Underneath startup type, left click on this little drop down arrow. Make sure it's set to automatic. Left click on apply. This will take a moment to so just be patient. And then left click on start. And then left click on OK to save our changes. Now we want to head down until we get to remote procedure call and then in parentheses RPC. So just scroll down this list here. And now be cautious there are a couple that look kind of similar. You do not want to do the locator one. You want to do the first one. And you want to again right click on it. Left click on properties. Make sure it's set to automatic. If it's not set to automatic, set it to automatic, and then click on apply, then start, and then OK. Same deal, we want to go down to RPC Endpoint Mapper. And this option right here, you want to right click on it and then left click on properties. Again, you want to make sure this is on automatic, and then left click on apply, start, and OK. And now finally, you want to go down to get to Windows Backup. It appears I might have gone a little bit too far here. Again, right click on it, Properties, underneath Startup Type, set it to Automatic, and then left click on Apply, Start. This will take a moment. And then left click on OK. And at this point, you can close out of the Services window. Okay, so once you're done doing that, we're going to head back to the Start menu and we're going to type in File Explorer. Should be listed as a desktop app. I'm going to left click on it. You want to go underneath your local disk C on the left side here. You might have other disks as well. You want to right click on your disk and then left click on Properties at the bottom of this menu. Underneath the Tools tab, left click on that. And then underneath error checking, left click on this check button right here. And then you would left click on scan drive. This would take a little while, so just be patient. So I should note that on earlier versions of Windows, you might have an additional option to actually fix partitions on your computer. You might have an option to actually scan for an attempt to recovery of bad sectors on your computer. So just keep that in mind. After the scan is complete, I would recommend checking out other drives that might be on your computer. Do the same error checking scan with them as well. Restart your computer and then try to create a backup again of your computer through the backup wizard in Windows. So I'm not going to really go through that part because, I mean, hopefully at that point you guys should be able to access it. And I think that will pretty much be it for this tutorial. So. Thank you guys for watching. I hope I helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.